steampunk, blood on the tracks, up and coming musicians with just a hint of folk. Your playlist is next. Funding for the playlist is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Folk and pop sensibilities blend in the music of Diet Folk. The band likes to call their style soul grass. Please welcome Diet Folk to the playlist. Trying to be no 
We'll meet the band and hear more music in a few minutes. You know, this week, the region pays homage to one of its greatest musicians, Bob Dylan. He's inspired artists, writers, and musicians, and a 10-day celebration spanning Duluth and Hibbing. One of the highlights is a train ride dubbed Blood on the Tracks. The, the overall goal of the event is just to celebrate Bob Dylan's legacy, his roots to this area, and really to celebrate what he did as an individual, but also what he inspired, more importantly. My name is Brad Nelson. Um, I'm on the, the Duluth Dylan Fest committee and now and will be going forward the North Country Dylan celebration. Um, we started just by separating the days, so the first the first several days is in Duluth, ending with the big shebang for Duluth, the train ride. And when you hear that sound, the clickety-clack of the train, it just, to me, it just, it's all intertwined. It's a big, big messy ball of, of American soul. And I think it really fits well with Dylan and what we're doing. What kind of conversations happen in these cars? Yeah, well, you know, we have Dylan house music piped in here during the ride. A lot of the real Dylan aficionados, I think, tend to hang out and do, do more comparing notes and stories than they do actually watching the, the bands, which is fine. Um, because it's all just about being together with other people who care about the spirit and, and, uh, and just care about Bob Dylan's music. And then the band usually just sets up right here and we suspend the PA system up high so people can't knock them over. And it actually sounds and feels and looks surprisingly great once everything comes together. It's just an honest, authentic, sincere community celebrating what Bob Dylan did, but also what he inspired. The North Country Dylan celebration begins Friday in Duluth with a concert at Weber Music Hall and rolls through music performances, poetry readings, movies, and a birthday bash before the action moves to Hibbing. Now on Friday, the Iron Range welcomes writers and performers for workshops and music competitions. The weekend includes a bus tour of Dylan's hometown and a farewell brunch to celebrate all things Dylan inspired. There's more information on all of these events online. Now in the studio tonight, two young musicians learning the ropes of the music industry, Curran Effinger and Hannah McDaniel. Welcome to the playlist. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you're both involved in this thing called the Music Resource Center in Duluth. Can you tell me what it is? What, it, what does it do? Well, it's a program that helps young musicians um, along on their path to create their own songs, record, um, play live shows, uh, well, I suppose every aspect of music, that's what it focuses on, um, teaching them. Hannah, do you have to come in already, you know, knowing, yes, I'm going to do this for a living, or do you have to already have all of those skills when you start? Um, no, not necessarily. You can come in and you can learn um, an instrument, or you can learn how to record and work with live sound or anything that you want to do, basically. Well, what, what I think is interesting is you are also writing music. Do you get some help in those aspects, writing and recording? Yep. Um, we all get help with the um, uh, form of how to write a song correctly, so um, using the proper chord progressions or lyric help, and then recording up in a booth and using a soundboard. Um, and I suppose using the um, uh, technology for it, like Pro Tools and such. And learning the tools, where else do you have a chance to kind of play with those things? Any surprises in all that? Or is this, of course, you know, you turn on the radio and you listen to music and it's just easy, right? Yeah. Um, working with Pro Tools, it's really kind of eye opening because even Eric says that he learns something new every day using Pro Tools and he's been doing it. Uh, for years, so. Yeah. This is Eric Swanson. The, yeah. M the MRC is part of the Armory Arts and Music Cultural Center, but right now it's at Sacred Heart, right? Yep. yep. And they have all the tools you ever want? Well, we're working on it. I mean, they have a lot of things available right now. Um, but um, right now we're trying to fundraise to get money for new instruments and new gear to have there also, so. Okay. And instruments like guitars and drum kits or, or like sound tools? All of the above, and um, 
people can actually donate online on the website to help out with that. So. Okay. Now, how about, um, do you have a video camera? Because it looks, the two of you have already made your music videos. And yeah. is it okay if we show people a little bit of them? Of course. Okay, well, let's take a look at them. Okay, you look like you had some fun doing that? Uh, yes. <laughs> so tell me about the process, though. You start with the song, and then do you have a visual already figured out, or, or how did that work for you guys? Um, well, I recorded um, my demo in October, so I already had the song um, planned out. And when people from UMD came in, they um, asked us first to pick a song and then kind of go through and create like a storyboard of certain scenes and um, to kind of get an idea of what we wanted to do in the video and it kind of went from there so and what do you think how did it turn out it, it turned out very well and you know it's a long process but if you have a song picked out it's fairly easy to just go through the process and say well this is what I want here and then come out with an end product and say here you go yeah. Ta -da, done okay in one word tell me uh, why the Music Resource Center is worth your time word um opportunity great word um, uh, exploration I suppose excellent well you both are well on your way to charting a, a, a great future so thank you for taking the time Thank you for having us. Yeah, good luck you. with the MRC and all the th good things coming up. Now, for more information on the MRC and to get involved, check out their website, mrc.dulutharmory.org. Now, several MRC students are playing at the Weber Music Hall Friday night during the Hard Rain in Duluth concert, and you'll hear them around town at several open mic nights this month in May. Now, artists all around the world express themselves in the steampunk tradition. It's a style that merges the 18th century industrial age with a little fantasy. It's an intriguing mix that comes natural to Richard Rosevall. It's a rock attack. Kelly Foss is the scout for our airship and this is her rock attack. And that's plumbing parts and uh, old colander and uh, old jello mold. This is Hattie Peterson's outfit. Hattie, Hattie's the weapons master on our air, airship crew. And this is, uh, this is made entirely out of, out of deer skin. Well, there's, there's Broman's shoulder mounted cannon. <laughs> this was a shoulder piece. You know, I have just, I have boxes and boxes of, of stuff that I'll just start digging through and see what see what fits where. And I think it's for an old Kodak camera to hold your filters in place. And this is a track lighting. I did that with a gears from an old cuckoo clock I took apart. People bring me some real treasures. Fun, fun stuff. My name is Richard Rosewall, and I guess, you know, I guess I'm a three-dimensional artist. Mostly I used to make jewelry, and I still do an awful lot of that. I love working with copper, and copper and bronze. I guess are my two favorite metals to work with. It's real malleable. 
you can you, you know you can heat it up and, and hammer it into into shape and uh, bend it and twist it and uh, you know heat it up and bend it and twist it some more. Wow, that's gorgeous. I woke up the other morning and thought to myself, I want a gun with 20 barrels. The first thing I did up with a clarinet part was this long gun over here. And then I, I still had leftover clarinet parts. I said, well, now what am I, what am I gonna do? I said, well, I'll make a, a pistol. Clarinet, plumbing fittings, uh, this is off of an old fishing reel. There's this is typewriter parts and uh, gears out of a clock. You can see through it, but you wouldn't think so. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's escapism, but you know, geez, what fun! How can you not enjoy doing something like that? Well, Dick is one of the artists involved in the steampunk spectacular at the Duluth Art Institute. The event includes a market, a fashion show, train ride, music, and more. Now, in our gallery tonight, the fanciful work of Adu Gindi and Eric Dubnica, both compliments of Lizard's Art Gallery of Duluth. Comical characters often inhabit Gindi's paintings, while Eric's birch sculptures stretch form for good effect. The two have a show up at Lizard's through the end of May. Now, for the latest arts news from the playlist, you can check out our website. You're always welcome to watch clips online and make suggestions. Now, to see what we're working on, put the playlist in your news feed on Facebook and follow along on Twitter. And we'll be back with more music after this. By my troth, Mistress Ford, you are very well met. Falstaff, he's this big, fat, loud, night and he's hoping hoping against all hope that he can uh, convince these two married rich women that he should be their gigolo i think of it as sort of the prototype for the sitcom but i find it absolutely hilarious they shall be my east and west indies and i shall trade to them both <laughs> everything about human nature is in a shakespeare play truly Thrive, lads, we will thrive! Huh? <laughs> I'm Julie Acey and I'm directing The Merry Wives of Windsor for Wise Fool Shakespeare. Have I escaped love letters in the holiday time of my beauty and am I now a subject for them? <laughs> Let us see. People have been stealing, you know, from the bard for hundreds of years now. When you get it up on stage with, you know, good directing, good acting, all of a sudden you can understand it. The Merry Wives of Windsor by William Shakespeare. We run until the 26th on Friday, Saturday, Sunday matinees. Go to wisefoolshakespeare.com. Please welcome Diet Folk back to the playlist.
welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Deidre Clark, would you introduce your bandmates for me? Uh, yes, this is Roger, this is Boyd, and this is Tony. Okay, awesome. You've been playing together for about three years. Yep, you already roughly. have two releases out there. Mm -hmm. Where do we find more of your music? You can find some of them at Electric Fetus and uh, Amazon, iTunes, and I think that's YouTube and stuff. You have, I don't know how many gigs in this week. Yeah, how seven. come you guys work so hard at it? I don't know. We just have nothing better to do, pretty much. I mean, like, <laughs> like playing, I guess. It's pretty fun. Well, I know you have another gig this very night, yep. so I will let you go and <laughs> wish you very good things on your journey. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for coming over. Yep, I want to thank you also for tuning in. Remember, there are lots of options for live music and art going on all around you. Get out and enjoy it. Have a great weekend. Okay, gentlemen, it's all yours. Thank you.